PubMed is a really useful online resource. It's free to access and is best known as the simplest way to use the Medline database, which searches the content of thousands of journals covering biomedicine, health and life sciences. PubMed also searches some extra content, which is mostly either too old or too new to appear in Medline. The home page for PubMed features a simple search box which allows you to enter the words or phrases you're interested in, in this case dementia. The results which match your search will then be displayed. Quite often there'll be a fairly large number of results. You can narrow them down with the options on the left, including a sliding bar for the date. Each option you select from this menu, such as article type, will narrow your search down to only those items which match, and there's a button for additional filters which you may wish to use such as age and subject. If your search involves more than one word or phrase, it's generally best to use the advanced search option. Here you enter one concept at a time to add them to the search, for example, dementia and group singing, as I want to find articles which discuss the impact of group singing for people with dementia. However, the real power of advanced search is it allows you to search for multiple words or phrases for the same concept at the same time. This uses what we call the Boolean operator OR. I can enter dementia or Alzheimer's first, then group singing or choir, and the search will find and display any articles which match one word or phrase from each of those two sets, increasing the number of articles I find. When you click on the title of an article, you get more information about it. If there's a free version of it, there'll be a note to alert you to this and links to take you to it. If not, then you can copy and paste the title into Library Search to see whether the library can provide it. There's also a Cite button, which provides a reference to the article in a variety of referencing styles. The closest one to the university style is APA, but this will still require a little bit of editing. Further down the screen, you'll get the abstract for the article and a menu on the right of additional information, including handy options like similar articles, which allows you to browse articles on closely related topics, and cited by, which gives you links to articles that have referred to the one you're looking at. If you use PubMed a lot, it's worth setting up an account, which allows you to save articles and searches, and can even alert you to new articles on topics you're interested in. Finally, it's worth knowing that the current version of PubMed, which launched in summer 2020, has been optimised to work well on mobile devices. On the mobile view, the filters for the search can be accessed from a button above the results. PubMed is a great resource to use when searching for many health and medical topics. Your librarians are here to help if you want to know more.